You know, I want to start off this video by stressing that I am a huge Buffalo Bills fan. And the reason why I bring that up because I, as a Bills fan, I was hoping the Jets would beat Miami. I thought the game would be close. But it just goes to show you when the offense stinks like the Jets does, the defense is starting to get worn out. You, you get the feeling that they're starting to give up. Robert Sala was even alive. He just stood there. They're undisciplined. So many bad penalties. I was just like, would well, you guys even know what you're doing? It seemed like they were getting fooled by the littlest things on, on the running game. And, you know, um, I forgot the name of the receivers. When two threw it over the top against uh, Sauce Gardner, I was surprised. Because, to me, it, it just looked like the team was exhausted. And, you know, I think this whole mess really started with the idea of getting Aaron Rodgers. It hasn't worked out so good, considering the offensive line is the reason why Aaron Rodgers isn't playing. And why they didn't keep Mike White is beyond me. Like I said, Aaron Rodgers... I mean, how, how good is he going to be next year? Because his last year with Green Bay wasn't too good. People could say, well, they didn't, he didn't have, you know, Adams or whatever. But he had other people he could throw to. He was missing throws. Some guys were wide open. He wanted Lazard. He got benched. So they're not going to fire the coaches because of Aaron Rodgers. So if you ask me, that was a mistake. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to ruin the Jets' chance of moving forward. Because I don't know about you, but Salas did not look so good yesterday. He he looked like a statue. They were so undisciplined. He doesn't get on these players. I don't know what's going on with the Jets. And you say, well, they're going to have a high draft pick next year. Yeah, which they will. Hopefully they won't screw it up. I mean, yeah, they, they hit a home run with Sus Gardner, but when it came to the offensive linemen, they have they kind of missed on him. I think the guy, the left tackle's name is Beachman or whatever. Number one, he hasn't been that good. He's been hurt a lot. He gets hurt a lot. So they tried to add depth. That hasn't panned out, so they're making really poor decisions on the offensive line. I don't care how good of a quarterback you are, or even what kind of weapons you might have, when you have no offensive line like that, you're not going to get anything done. And like I said, the, the Jets receivers are okay. Lazar got benched. So what's Aaron Rodgers going to have to work with next year? He didn't, like I said, he, he didn't look too good with Green Bay. I, I felt like Green Bay's team last year is probably in the same category as the Jets team this year. So how much of a dif difference is that really going to make moving forward? Having with Aaron Rodgers, he's also going to be a year older. You know, when you get older, those injuries take longer to heal. People say, well, yeah, he can come back if he wanted to. You know, if they were at a playoff chance, I'm like, yeah, that's a fluke thing, but he could also re-hurt it or re-hurt the other one. So I don't know how effective they're going to be moving forward. They're going to have to make some coaching change, which they won't because of Aaron Rodgers. Come on, he wanted that offense coordinator. That guy is pitiful and pathetic. So I don't know what the Jets' plan is for the future, but just give me your thoughts. Do you think Aaron Rodgers' trading for him was a good idea at this point because of, you know, that he wanted, wanted all these people there and it just isn't working out because he got hurt because the offensive line was so bad? Please leave your comments. Please hit the notification. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. I'll talk to you later.